following program has not been rated. Since it is void of any redeeming of social value, there were no film rating critics interested in viewing it. Although this program contains material of a frank and explicit nature, we're going to show the damn thing anyway. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you're a wimp, go watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood instead. Hey, fella, what's the problem? Can't you hold that camera still? Listen, pal, I can't take any more of this. Look, put, put the camera down slowly. Put it down slowly. And hit the bricks. Go ahead, hit the bricks. Yeah, that's right, pal. You'll get your check. Hey, who are you calling a bonehead? You call yourself a cameraman. You couldn't take pictures for the driver's license bureau. Get out of here, you idiot. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Yeah, you too, pal. Yeah, that's, that son of a, oh. Oh, hi, friends. Uh, welcome to Julius's Kitchen. And uh, sorry about the little camera trouble there, but uh, I had to get rid of that idiot. I tell you, you just can't find good cheap labor anymore. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'll have to do this myself. So, anyway, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Dr. Julius A. Morgus, uh, Professor of Anatomy and Biological Sciences at Bangkok University. And I uh, do a little... Uh, cooking on the side, have a little restaurant business, you know, to make a few extra bucks. And if you see my check from the university, you'll, you'll know why I have to do this. But uh, anyway, we're going to have a little fun here. We're going to make a uh, New Orleans favorite, red beans and rice. Except uh, we're going to take a little shortcut method. Normally they take about three hours to do, but we're going to do this fairly quick here. It's one of my patented methods that I won an award for, so... Uh, Let's get started, but oh, before I do, I hope you excuse me. I have to make a phone call. I need to call City Hall. I'm having a little trouble with my health certificate, so uh, let me check on the status of that. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, is this Kansas City Hall? Yeah, uh, give me the uh, health department. Uh, I need to speak to Inspector McGillicuddy. Yeah, McGillicuddy. Ah, oh, these people, I'll tell you. What are you doing? Yeah, Matt. How you doing? Julius here. What do you mean, Julius who? Julius Morgus. You know, I'm the guy that uh, you're holding my certificate up here. Yeah, pal, what's the problem? Well, what are you talking about? What do you mean there's a slight uh, little problem here? Um, no, there's no body parts in my freezer. I got rid of that stuff. I brought that stuff back to the university. Well, I don't know. Look, 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 pal. Listen, listen. Uh, I'm losing my patience. Uh, look, switch me over to, to Mayor Broussard. What do you mean you can't do that? 
Look, pal, I, look, I had enough. Okay, all right, that's it. That, look, I'll talk to you later. Oh, man, I tell you. Let's see, uh, go back to the Don't two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, City Hall? Yeah, let me, uh, have, uh, the mayor's office, please. Thank you. Yeah, is this the mayor's office? I'd like to speak to Mayor Broussard. What do you mean I just can't speak to him? Look, interrupt him. What is he doing? I don't care if he's taking a nap. Look, look, tell him, tell him it's Julius Morgus. Tell him Julius Morgus. Just tell him that, please, okay. Oh, these people, I'll tell you. Yeah, Eric, Julius here. Julius Morgus. You know, you came over and had a few meals here? Yeah, that's right. Listen, listen, you can do me a big favor. I'm having a slight problem with uh, getting my health certificate, you know, over there and uh, uh, Inspector McGillicuddy's handling this. Is there anything you can do to speed this process up a little bit? Well, I don't know what the problem is. I mean, he just, he keeps telling me he can't give me the certificate. Okay, all right. He's calling him to see what the problem is. Checking with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. What you mean, body parts in the freezer? Oh, that's ridiculous. You know, I wouldn't have anything like that. Now, why would I have body parts in my freezer? Look, listen, what can we do to speed this up a little bit? Why don't you come on over to the restaurant, you know, and you can have, I'll fix you a nice little bowl of elbow gumbo. I mean, uh, some Oprah gumbo. Oh, you're not hungry, huh? Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> look, look, let's get down to the bottom line here, pal. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, how about a little minor campaign contribution? Would that, would that do it? Would that hold you over? You know, let's say, uh, 25, 50 bucks? 500? <clears throat> well, listen, you tell that idiot McGillicuddy, you know, uh, this is a problem here. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know he was your brother-in-law. Oh, actually, actually, he's a very nice man. Yeah. No, 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 500. Uh, 500 is a little steep. I mean, we're just talking about a health certificate here. Look, I tell you what, I'll give you 200. We'll call it even. You come over and have a couple meals. 400, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess 400 is bad, with his, uh, you know, that's bad enough, but uh, if that's as good as you can do, I don't have time to fool with this. Okay, $400. Okay, Aaron. All right, well, appreciate it. Appreciate the help. Thanks. Look, put it in the mail. I need this to do, operate my business. Okay, thanks. Boy, I drive a hard bargain, don't I? See, I know how to handle these pile of fishes. Okay, anyway, let's get started. We're going to make some uh, red beans and rice. We're going to use uh, my award-winning uh, shortcut method, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Normally, uh, a lot of people around here, they'll make the beans from scratch, you know, they'll use these dry beans. And uh, it's a pretty lengthy process. Uh, technically, you're supposed to soak the beans overnight, but, you know, I mean, who has time for that? So, what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to trash that. Not going to use those suckers. What we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do something that normal chefs don't do. All these guys that call themselves chefs, they're a bunch of idiots, you know. They cook everything from scratch and it takes a million hours to do everything. You know, why waste all the time? You know, why reinvent the wheel when something's already made? Whenever, whenever you're in a hurry, always just go to the can. So what we're going to do is, uh, uh, through, through experimentation, I've found two types of red beans in a can that I use. And, uh, one of them is, is, a, is a creamy one, and uh, the other one is not is more or less whole beans. I don't like mine too creamy. Uh, what we're going to do is use two cans of these Blue Runner. This is uh, creamy style. These are pretty creamy. We're going to just dump that stuff in a pot here, you know. All right. Yeah, this is a six. These are sixteen. This is a sixteen ounce can. 
Uh, this is a 15 ounce can. Why? I don't know. Well, let's get rid of the cans too. So anyway, we're going to dump all of this stuff in right away. Got some nice music on there, don't you know this? Ooh, okay. Very good music. Very good music. Good cooking music. I'm going to put some Cajun music on, but uh, it's a little aggravating to do this kind of stuff. Okay, now we're going to put out Van Camp's. This is Van Camp's New Orleans style, but they're, the beans are pretty whole, you see there. With the mixture of the two, it gives you a pretty good consistency. And instead of taking three hours to cook these beans, basically it'll cook in about an hour. Basically they're cooked, but uh, we're going to add some uh, sweet pickle meat to this, which is what we put in there normally. Sweet pickle pork, as you can see I have it all cut up nicely. Everything, all the vegetables are cut up nicely. Sweet pickle pork, uh, this is about a pound of sweet pickle pork. Normally you wouldn't want to put sausage in here when you're cooking because it breaks up at the end. If you must put sausage, put it in at the end of the cooking process. We have a little problem here, let's see. Let me get a sponge. Oh shit. Okay. Stir it out a little bit. Okay, now, what I'll do is basically put the same ingredients as I would if I was cooking this from scratch. And uh, as you can see, I have a multitude of things here. And uh, what I'll do first, I'll put the vegetables in. Uh, I have some chopped up celery, about two stalks, two stalks there. Put about uh, one, one medium bell pepper, chop up, put that in. Very good, very good, let's get rid of this. And uh, a whole onion. Oh, got a little gas. As you can see, I don't saute this stuff beforehand. That's a lot of garbage. A lot of people think they have to make this miracle stuff, you know, and saute everything. The stuff's gonna cook in the pot. Why saute it? Stupid. All right, uh, we have to add a little garlic. As you can see, I'm not chopping that crap up. Why, why fool with that sticky stuff? I got about a teaspoon. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more. Ooh. Phew, that's strong. Yeah, why fool with it, you know? Go to the jar. All right. Let's see. Let me check my recipe here. Okay. Um, I like to put a little, a little uh, red port wine in there. We're probably going to have to add a little water. If it looks like they're too thick, we're going to add some water to this. I don't know if you can see this mixture here. These beans are in the way. Ouch! I need beans. Miserable things. Okay, what we're going to do, we have a multitude of spices that I like to put in there. First thing we're going to do, we're going to have, we've got uh, two whole bay leaf. Two whole bay leaf. Goes in. We have a little, uh, dried basil, about a teaspoon, put about a teaspoon, I don't measure anything, it takes too damn much time. I have some stuff here, this is uh, crab ball powder. I make this from uh, bag boil and I put it in a little spice mill and grind it up. Pretty good, it's good in a lot of things. But about, about a teaspoon of that stuff. Let's see. Put a little chili powder. I like a little chili powder in there. Teaspoon of that. Not too much. I got this red pepper mix. Uh, I'm not going to use that because I'm going to put some hot sauce and I'm going to put some black pepper instead. I mean, you can use any goddamn kind of pepper you want. I don't give a damn what you use. Tastes good anyway. Put a little cumin. A little cumin gives it a nice flavor. One, two. Now, what do we have here? I don't know what this is here. A little parsley. It's always nice. Very nice. A good bouquet. Nice dried parsley. I mean, you can put fresh stuff in if you want. Uh, a little brown thyme. Not too much of that. All of this stuff you can put about a teaspoon in. 
We'll show the uh, recipe at the end of the show so you don't have much of a problem. What else? What am I missing? Oh, I'll put a little hot sauce in there. Uh, you can put Tabasco, Louisiana. I like this Melinda's. It's pretty good. See Melinda's hot sauce? And uh, we'll take and Couple dabs of that. Couple more dabs. Now we'll mess it up. Okay, and we're gonna, I don't know if you can see this conglomeration. And we're just gonna mix the whole bunch of crap up like that. Mix it up, mix it up. And uh, I think I might add, a, add about half a cup of water. Um, you may want to put a cup if you like them soupy. They're gonna cook down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put about a cup of water. If it's too much, I won't eat any. Okay. The beans are basically ready to go on the stove. And uh, we're going to take and simmer these things for about an hour, basically so the, the pickle meat will, will be cooked. So we're going to take the beans and bring them over to the stove. Let's turn this fire on. Turn the fire on. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to make some rice too with this. Uh, I'm just going to make about a half a cup here. You know, it's just enough for me. And what I do is, um, I use uh, strictly Uncle Ben's. Uh, Uncle Ben's, you can't screw it up. Somehow, I don't know, but you just can't screw it up. Did we put everything in there? Okay. Use about twice as much water, a cup of water for half a cup of rice. I got a little, a little salt in there. A little olive oil. I don't put the butter, I just put some olive I like a little olive oil in there. <coughs> you notice too, as we were making the beans, since we didn't saute or fry anything, we didn't use any additional oil. There's probably enough in the beans. Also, we did not add salt. Beans in a can have salt. Also, the pickle meat has salt. At the end of the process, if you think you need a little salt, you can put a little dab in there. Okay? Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to get this rice started. And uh, let's see the rice. And uh, we'll come back and uh, check it periodically uh, through the process, through the cooking process, and we'll see how everything goes. What we need to do now is uh, we need to talk about an unpleasant subject. Everybody here loves beans. Loves beans. One problem, major problem with beans, gas. Well. There's all kind of theories about red beans and how to get the gas out of them. One of them is, well, you only use 239 beans. Why is that? Because the next one is 240. Isn't that cute? Well, obviously, if you're using a canned beans, you can't do it. You can't count those things. So there are other theories. Uh, soak the beans, cook the beans with the pot off, put a little vinegar in the beans. There's all kind of stuff. None of that crap works. So, what I've done, uh, this is a good time to introduce a new product that I've developed. I have this new stuff that's added to the beans at the table. And I don't know if you can see this bottle here. It's uh, Dr. Dr. Julius's uh, Ouse Fart. Uh, good stuff. Uh, I developed this stuff uh, on a trip to Germany one time. I discovered this 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 herb that uh, it grows on all of the, the down ramps on the autobahn. Nobody knows why it grows there. It looks a little bit like marijuana, you know. But uh, seems seems like as the cars are leaving the autobahn, it uh, reduces the emission. So that gave me the idea. So I took this herb and I put this herb in a in a sauce here. Takes the fart right out of the beans. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Really works, and you'll see. If you'd like to buy some of this, I'm really pushing this stuff. Here it is, Dr. Julius's famous house for it. And there's the number, 888-4040. Can you see that? Let's bring it closer to the camera, 888-4040. Okay. This is your last chance to buy it. Okay. Now, 
what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a little break here, a little break in the action, so to speak. And there's plenty of action here while the beans are cooking. Uh, we got to cover those beans. Oh, I forgot to say, when you simmer the beans, simmer them covered, because otherwise you'll have it splashing and then it won't cook in an hour. In an hour's time, it will be ready to serve, I guarantee. So let's take a little break and uh, we'll come back and we'll check the progress and see how the beans are doing. Okay? See you in a minute. Okay, we got the beans on the stove. We got the rice on. Uh, hasn't been cooking very long. Let's let's see what that looks like. Can you see that? Oh, that's nice. Huh? You can see that. Uh, let's stir it a little bit. You got to keep that stuff that creamy one sticks to the bottom here a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh man. Oh man, what an aroma. Okay, we're gonna cover that back up. And you can see that our rice is on there and um, we got that on a very low fire there and uh, you leave that lid on. You don't open that lid or I'll break your freaking neck. Okay, let's let's come back in a few minutes and we'll check some more progress. Okay, let's check the progress of our beans here. Uh, you can see we've turned off the rice. Rice is done. We'll leave it covered. You know, that'll fluff it up a little bit. We'll just leave that sit on the side. And let's see how that's coming nicely. Mm. Very good. Very good. You can see that. See that? It looks pretty good, huh? Mm. It smells great. I think I made it a little bit soupy there. Uh, we can cook that down a little bit. I like it a little soupy myself. Uh, you know, uh, what is this? What's this, a bug? Some kind of bug, huh? I will put that in too, you know? Got a little protein, a little extra protein never hurts anything. Yeah, sorry for you, fella. In the beans, in the beans. Okay. I'm sure he'll be done right around when the pickle meat is done. Okay, let's cover it back up. And we'll come back we'll probably come back when it's just about done okay okay let's check the progress of our beans here <clears throat> they ought to be just about done see it's a little bit soupy still but uh, I like them like that let's see like I said as long as the pickle meat is done nice and tender then uh, beans are done because basically they were cooked before we put them in and then you want the vegetables to cook too you can see that look how nice that is oh yeah as long as the bug's done too I guess if the bug is done we can eat it a little protein okay look at that isn't that pretty that's nice now this would this is the point if you want to add some sausage uh, you know, it's better to take and fry a little bit on the side or cook it on the side and serve it with the beans, but you could you could add, uh, if you really have to do it, you can you can throw the damn things in at this point. <clears throat> Basically the sausage is fully cooked, most sausages, but uh, I, I prefer not, I don't eat the sausage with it. I think with a nice salad and just the red beans and rice and, and some little bread on the side is basically all you need. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's remove the pot. Let's take everything off the fire, and uh, then we'll test it. We'll serve ourselves a little plate here. We'll see how everything came out. Let me cover this back up. Oh shit! God damn, that's hot. Oh, I hate these pots with no damn. Okay. And there we have it. I took the liberty to uh, serve myself. And yeah, as you can see, I took the monkey suit off. I can't stand all that tight stuff on me. So here we are. Here's a nice plate of red beans with little dago bread on the side, which is great. And uh, what I've done here, as you can see, I've taken all the mystery out of cooking. I mean, all these idiots, they make like it's a big deal, you know. There's nothing to this cooking business. And there it is, beautifully served beans. And uh, all of my award-winning recipes can be found in, in, in my book, Cooking with Juice. 
many, 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 many shortcuts, just as the one we took today. Now, if you want to cook things a long time, that's fine too. And now I'm going to serve this with a, uh, oh, let's put a little bit of our good house part on there. Also has a good little flavor to it. Whoop, hey, that's kind of runny there. Hmm. A little house fart there, takes the part out of the beans. Won't matter, you can go out in public after you eat this. No problem. No problem at all. I'm gonna serve this and I'm gonna have myself a little wine, a little uh, Valpoli gel there. Very nice, very amusing bottle of wine. Might have the whole bottle, who knows. So let's taste this and see what it's like. Hmm. Oh, forgot one thing. Can't serve the wine. Got, got to have a... Uh, Corkscrew here. Okay, let me go get this corkscrew. Okay, we can open this wine there. What happened to the beans? Shit. No beans. The bread's still here. And not on the floor. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, oh, goodness. Must be the house for it. Well. I'm sorry, friends. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is this is this is really a revolting development. Oh, I don't know what to do. Look, look. Uh, let, let me see if I can take care of this, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. I don't know yet what we're gonna do. I gotta perfect this thing. Oh man, I don't know what is going on. Oh, jeez. Man, this is terrible.